So recently I watched Jim Jeffries go on a ride along with Aussie police in Sydney. It was a very funny video. It was his brother who was the police officer, so a lot of like funny jokes when he's taking the piss out of his brother. Uh, but I've seen that he had another one, but it's a UK police ride along. So interested to see this. Interested to see the differences between the UK police and Australian police. Tell me if you've lived in both of those countries or what you think the differences would be. I guess we probably have a lot more in similarity between the UK and Australia rather than compared to like the US police. Uh, but this should be funny. Uh, let's check out and tell me what you think about this. This past weekend, a student at Georgia Tech who was armed with a pocket knife was shot and killed in a standoff with the police. On social media, people once again said the, the cops really have to shoot. Uh, where was the taser? There must be a better way. Maybe there is. The United Kingdom, a place with plenty of violent crime. But when cops here respond to emergency calls, it often looks something like this. The attacker gets a few swings in, they tase him, they tackle him, but nobody dies. So why the different approach? To learn more, I visited the city dubbed one of the most murderous places in the country, Birmingham, England, and embedded myself with Birmingham's finest. Hi, Jim. Nice to meet you. Matt, nice to meet you, Jim. We jumped into Matt's patrol car to go pick up our partner. Bad boys, bad boys. He always likes to see criminals on the way to where we're going, or, or if we see any crime, do we just drive past it? I think if we see something, we might stop and try to do something about it. No, but if it's a small crime, like we just see like someone just shoplifting or something, like, we'll drive past that. But if we see a rape, we'll stop for a rape, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> In America now, you know, there's guns everywhere. Do you have a gun? Uh, no, no gun, no taser. Casco and uh, uh, the equivalent of pepper spray. You have pepper spray and a stick? What's the biggest thing you've come up against with pepper spray and a stick? Uh, swords, machetes, knives. And if there's a gun, you just go, no, no, f I'm not going to do and that. Yeah, try, try and then you ring someone with a gun and yes. they show up with yeah. a gun. It's all with more guns. Guns aren't so prevalent over here. There's not so many of them. But they're harder to get hold of. So it turns out Birmingham technically is the murder capital of the UK. But the number of homicides here last year? 13. Compare that to Birmingham, Alabama, a city one quarter of the size with 104 homicides in 2016. Mm. After a briefing about my official duties and a quick tour of the facilities, this is if you just get drunk and you get locked up for the night, right? Yeah. yeah I've been, I've been That's actually that. happened to me before. We met our partner and headed out on patrol. Good day, Leanne. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> when you pull up someone for speeding, what's the first thing you tell them to do? Do they have to keep their hands where you can see them? I don't normally switch off the engine, I do. Like. You ask them to reach where their hands can't be seen? Yep. <laughs> the first thing in America, <laughs> please keep your hands on the wheel where I can see them. Please do not move them. And you're like, if you could just reach down below the steering wheel there, we'd really appreciate that. <laughs> it's actually an interesting point. Okay, we've got the siren on now. This is very exciting. I didn't think I'd get the little rush of blood. <laughs> as soon as you turned it on. How fast are we going? 60 yards felt faster. <laughs> so what are we going to now exactly? This is a guy who's running down the road throwing drugs after uh, failing to stop his car. He's throwing drugs around? Yep. Yeah. Where would he throw these drugs? Where would they be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just skate We'll try and get them back, yeah. We'll try to get those. <laughs> <laughs> Right then, let's go and uh, have a look what's going on. Probably not the best that he's running himself into a school that's still open. So that's definitely not a good idea, man. That's... Oh, wait, sorry. Did you see that? Probably not the best that he's running himself into a school that's still open. So where did he dump those drugs? I can help you find those. <laughs> Do you, ever, do you ever just flip someone off because you know they're not going to do anything? <laughs> just flip off a person in another car? No. I would be doing that all day. So let's say you go over to a house, there's a domestic abuse call. If someone has a knife, are you allowed to shoot them? If they've got a samurai sword, for example, we might deploy firearms officers to that. Samurai sword, yes. Yeah, I mean, that is a, uh, like... Seemingly a normalised weapon in places like London, samurai swords. They have ones called, I think they call it the zombie killer. You can Google that and see what it looks like, but it's just an absolutely, like, 
unbelievable knife that people would carry around the street, but yeah, that's what you're dealing with. What's the sort of weapon of choice or what sort of weapons are popular? I don't know if that's a good way to phrase it, but in Australia, what do people carry, if anything? In the UK, it's definitely very bad for knife crime. I'm from Glasgow and back in the 90s, Glasgow was pretty terrible for knife crime. I don't think it's as bad, but it's still, still got that bit there. But mostly it's knives and swords in the UK. What, what's it like in Australia? What do people maim and hurt, hurt each other with? Routinely, the answer will be no. That's why we've got taser officers. Do you have a taser? I used to, but I don't anymore. Do you miss your taser? Um, I only ever used it once. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've got him, I've got him, go on. Hello, mate. No, 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 no. wait there a second. We've been called to a burglary. You two both match the description of the people. You two both match the description of the people. Definitely junkies. Honestly, love, I've got nothing to do with that, but I've never done a burglary. That's the call that we've got, so that's why we've stopped you, so that's all. All right. We'll get it sorted. We will get it sorted. When we rolled up, it looked like it was a fight, but those guys calm down pretty quickly. One thing that uh, I think British police are probably quite good at is uh, talking, communicating. De-escalation. Right? Yeah, yeah, massively. Hmm. So I have to say, after riding with these guys all day, cops here seem less on edge than the cops in the US. And it's not that they're all better police officers. It's more like they're policing in a different world. And in a way, they are. Since 1980, 100 cops have been killed in the line of duty in the UK. There's still quite a lot, I in think. In the US, that number is over 2,300. Jeez. Do your That's wives insane. or husband, do they worry about you having this job? Not anymore. No. Yeah? No. Don't worry. 957 people were shot and killed in uh, America in the last year by police officers. Most of it because the other person had a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many police shootings are there in Birmingham a year? Where you guys shoot a person. We, we can talk in decades. So one a year, one every couple no, of years. No, no, no not like ten, ten years ish. One every ten years. We we very very rarely fire a shot in anger. Right. Mm. Of course, maybe they rarely fire a shot because they rarely have shots fired at them. The UK has some it's of very the simple gun laws in the world, and with fewer guns on the street, cops don't have to police like every day could be their last. Hmm. Bad boys, bad boys. Well, interesting insight in there. I, I don't really know too much about policing in the UK, even though I'm from there. Of course, I've not lived there for like over a decade, but even at that, it's like just interesting to see police doing their job. It does seem relatively stress free. I guess obviously there's going to be stressful moments. Uh, but when you compare it to somewhere like the US, it's just, yeah, a completely different animal, man. The amount of police officers killed in the US is disturbing. Again, I can compare it to Australia. I watched that previous one with Jim in Australia, and the cops seem very similar personality-wise, just guys who just want to go and do their job, don't really have that uh, worry of dying on the job man which is something you probably shouldn't have to worry about but really just shows you that difference tell me what you think about that if you're from Australia what do you think about the police the British police seeing them there uh, and yeah just the job of a police officer in those countries if you're from Australia and you're a police officer uh, tell me how it is to be a police officer there and what do you think about seeing police in other countries is there any countries you're envious of that you'd like to be a police officer there for any reason or any countries like maybe America that you would just never consider it. Uh, yeah, tell me what you think about this and recommend more from Jim. Thanks.